What's up guys, this is Scott Lowe, executive editor of IGN Tech. I wanted to give you a rundown of the new iPhone 4S and how it compares to the iPhone 4. So on my left hand, I got the iPhone 4S, and on my right, I've got the original iPhone 4. Uh, as you can see, visually, very similar. Um, they say there's like a four gram difference in weight. You really can't feel it. Um, Size-wise, it's really hard to tell, um, but they are practically identical. Uh, so yeah, but let's get into some of the nitty gritty, which is of course what's an inside of the device. So we're gonna run you through a few games. We're gonna do some speed tests. Uh, let's check it out. So first up, we're gonna do a little geek bench uh, benchmarking here. Uh, on the left, again, you have the iPhone 4S, and on the right, you have the iPhone 4. Uh, so let's go ahead and get them started. So here you see the phone information. You see uh, information about the, the processor and all that. Of course, the 4S is a dual core. The original iPhone 4 is a single core. So let's go ahead and get these benchmarks started. So already on the, the left, you can see that the iPhone 4S is moving along a lot faster in terms of the benchmarking. But uh, this process takes a few minutes, so we're going to go ahead and let it run. So as you can see here, the iPhone 4S is about twice as fast as the iPhone 4 in terms of the score here. Uh, so again, a pretty substantial speed bump. But these are just numbers, of course, so it really, what really boils down to is how it runs in apps and games. So we're going to back out here. We're going to go into one of the more like elaborate uh, games for the iPhone, which of course is real racing. So in terms of loading, again, they're about on par right now. Let's see if... Uh, So you can see on the left the graphics are you know already revving up um, and the, the video started because the loading was faster. Um, compared to the Geekbench, uh, it's not quite as double as fast. It was uh, kind of neck and neck there for a little bit. So yeah, I mean, as you can see, um, in terms of graphical comparison, the two are on par, but then again, there aren't a lot of games really optimized and, and really kind of maximized for iPhone 4S's new graphics processor. So, uh, but in terms of speed of loading the apps, pretty solid. The next big thing about the 4S is it's, uh, you know, basically the wireless connectivity. Uh, Apple says they've solved the antenna problem by having an additional antenna which can generate twice as fast uh, networking speeds. So again, we're both on AT&T here, um, and we're going to go ahead and run the speedtest.net app. And one, two, three. So again, same network, so that we're not, we're not switching to carriers, and you know, theoretically, the iPhone 4S will be faster. So as you can see, the differences, at least in our region, which is San Francisco, it's a you know a condensed kind of urban area, so there's a lot of like network traffic. So uh, the difference isn't that large on the iPhone 4S, but that isn't to say that it wouldn't be different in other regions. So it's very contextual, but there is a slight bump on the iPhone 4S. But of course, the next major feature is the new camera in the iPhone 4S. It now has an 8 megapixel camera as compared to the iPhone 4's 5 megapixel camera. It has a new CMOS sen sensor to create better uh, lighting and colors. So we're going to go ahead and give those a test. So first up, we're going to take a photo using the iPhone 4 of my friend Venom here. Then we're going to give the iPhone 4S a whirl, see how it comes out. So as you can see, comparing the two photos, uh, the iPhone 4S has a little better white balance, some added detail when you zoom in close, and overall just a better sense of color, a lot more naturalistic. So now we're going to show a little bit of the video differences. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and take a video of here of uh, our producer Nick. On the right, again, you can see the uh, colors are a little more natural, uh, a lot of the highlights aren't as blown out, and in general, like the level of detail is a little higher. Uh, obviously, in a compressed streaming video, you can't really tell the difference uh, in terms of like that kind of detail, but when you're recording and you're comparing footage on your computer, there is a clear difference for sure. So there you have it, the iPhone 4S and how it compares to the iPhone 4. We'll be doing a full review, so stay tuned to IGN.com.